Hi, I'm Pete from Ecobee. Congratulations on the purchase of your new Ecobee thermostat. In this video, we're going to show you how to ensure that your thermostat is registered to an Ecobee account. And we're going to show you how to create an account using either a mobile device or using our web-based online portal at ecobee.com. Before you get started, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go up to the thermostat and click on the menu. When you click on the menu, you're gonna see registration at the top. If you see this, uh, that means that your device has not been registered yet to an Ecobee account. So what's needed is a four digit registration code that the thermostat will generate as long as it's connected to Wi-Fi. Um, if you click on registration here, it's gonna ask you to, to click continue to generate that code. You should see a four digit code pop up within about 30 seconds typically. So now here you can see we have this code. Uh, it's usually an alphanumeric number. In this case, um, we can hit finished. And we're going to want to take that code and enter it into our account, uh, either using a mobile device or online uh, using a computer at ecobee.com. So the next thing you're going to want to do is go into your account, either using um, a phone, a tablet, a laptop. Um, you're going to take the code that was generated and you're going to hit the plus sign up in the corner here. It's going to ask you which product do you want to, to register. You're going to hit thermostat. Once you hit thermostat, it's going to ask you, is the thermostat installed? Uh, this just means, is it already wired and set up on the wall, which in this case it should be. Uh, so you can go ahead and click, yes, it's installed. You're going to click here in the box where you enter that code. So our code here is going to be RGRZ. So we're going to enter that in here. We're going to hit done. We're going to hit next. Now uh, the, the app is going to prompt you to answer some questions about your home. So things like what type of home is it? Is it an apartment? Is it a condo? Uh, is it a single family home? What's the square footage? How many floors? How many bedrooms? And what is, what is the age of the building? So once you complete those, just hit done. Then you're, uh, you're gonna wanna give your thermostat a name. So we recommend that you use one of our default names that's built into the app. Uh, you do have the ability to enter a custom name and you can call your device anything you want. So in this case, I'm gonna use my Ecobee. I'm gonna save that name. Um, you should see if everything's a success, a screen that says all systems go. You're going to have the option to see that thermostat, and now you should have the ability to control your thermostat from the device. And once you hit finished here at the thermostat, you should see a screen. It's going to pop up. It's going to say registration complete. Let's give it a second. There it is. Registration confirmation. Let's click OK. Now the two are linked. Um, your account shows the thermostat. You should be able to control everything here. Um, when you want to create a new account, in this case, I've already got an account with Ecobee. Um, so if you do need to, to create a brand new account, you're going to want to download the residential Ecobee app. It's a little green B. Um, you're going to start the process by um, creating a new user account. It's going to ask for your name. It's going to ask for your email address. Uh, you're going to have to set a password. So your email address will always be your username and you just want to make sure you get a password that you're not going to forget. So after that, it's going to ask you, um, you know, for your address information. So you have the ability to, um, to create as many locations as you'd like. So if you do have multiple homes, let's say you have a vacation home, a lake house, um, and your primary residence all using Ecobee thermostats, you can create those locations uh, in the home sections of the app. Um, Within each location, you can add those devices. So you'd go into the location you want first, then you're going to register a new device. Um, once that device is added, then each device is going to have to have its own unique name. Like we showed you already, um, the registration code gets entered. Um, once you're online, you have that full control using your device, and then you should be good to go. Um, so the other option is you can use a computer, you can use a laptop, a PC, just go to ecobee.com forward slash register. Um, it's going to look like this on, on the home screen. 
uh, what you want to do is click on the model that you're registering. So you've got a variety of options here, going back to our smart thermostat, our original smart thermostat, uh, the smart SI, the original Ecobee 3, uh, the 3 Lite, the 4, and now the smart thermostat Pro. So a lot of different models. Um, the process varies slightly depending on which model you're trying to register. So just choose the model that you've got. Uh, you should be prompted to add that thermostat, and this is where that four-digit code from the thermostat here in your settings is, is going to go into the portal. So add the code, click next. You're going to get a, a confirmation for weather. Um, this is simply just asking us to, uh, to pull in weather data based on your zip code. So, so you're, you're just going to give us that approval that we can um, use your local weather information, and then you're just going to want to confirm the address. Uh, for, for your home or for the location that, uh, that you were adding. Once the thermostat is added, you're going to get a question about Home IQ. So Home IQ uh, is a section of the portal that is only going to be seen online or using a tablet. So the look and feel is a little different when you go from a mobile device to the online portal. Home IQ is a section that is going to show you monthly savings, uh, runtime reporting, um, community comparison information. It's going to give you a lot more detail, uh, a lot of, of graphed out data that is just difficult to see on a smaller mobile device. So you can't see that on a phone, but you'll be able to see it on a PC, a laptop, or a tablet. So once uh, you've gone through the Home IQ screen, just going to confirm um, that thermostat's added, and, and now you should have full visibility, just like before on the phone, where you could use your PC to control everything, to adjust your settings, um, set up your schedule, your comfort settings, and at the thermostat, again, you should get that registration confirmation screen that shows up. This is how you know it's registered, and this is how you know the device is now linked to your account. Uh, so with the different devices, you've got <coughs> couple different ways to monitor these. Uh, most people are going to use their phone, so it could be an Android, could be an iPhone. Um, if you go in to your app, you're going to see each thermostat that you've got it added here listed out. Um, if you click on the, the device you want to update, so in this case my Ecobee is going to be uh, the thermostat we've got on the demo board here. So just click in here. Now you've got that ability to change your set point. You go into the menu. Uh, you're going to see a lot of different features in here. Uh, Eco Plus is our new uh, energy savings feature that we've added to the app. So a um, lot of new things in there. You can change the uh, system from heat, cool, auto. Uh, you can go through and program your, your room sensors. If you're using remote room sensors, the small white sensors like this, that's where you're going to uh, be able to set those up. You can create your schedule. You can create comfort settings. Um, I think it's up to 29 comfort settings we allow you to create. Uh, you can go in, you can monitor and manage your, your alerts and your reminders. So filter replacements, high temperature, low temperature, humidity alerts, you're going to see all that in here. And then finally, preferences. So your heating and cooling ranges, uh, whether you want to see Fahrenheit, Celsius, that sort of thing. Um, so all of these features are built into the mobile app. You've got the about section, which is going to show you your serial number. It's going to show you the firmware you're using. Um, it's going to show you the model number as well. So the main difference between the phone now and a tablet, if I go into the tablet and click on my Ecobee, and now you can see I've got a little bit different layout. So the look is a little, little different. Um, and you've got that home IQ section. So if you click on home IQ, this is where it's going to show you everything from uh, runtime data, alerts, reminders. Um, it's going to show you how you rate in your community, right? So if you go into uh, something like System Monitor here, it's going to graph out all of that runtime history 15 months back. Um, things like how much am I saving month to month on average? Um, how does that equate in dollars off my energy bill? Um, we see about 23% on average uh, off, off your bill each month. So it's usually something like $25, $30 uh, per month that, that you're going to see just by installing an Ecobee. So this is the data that you're only going to be able to see in the Home IQ uh, section of the app. 
and it's only going to be visible on a larger screen like a tablet or a laptop. Thank you again for your purchase and we hope you enjoy your brand new Ecobee Smart Thermostat.